Our next guest is, uh, was seen all last month on Rodney Dangerfield's HBO special and can be seen in person on October 12th at the Comedy Works in Denver, Colorado. Please say hello, folks, to a young man who's taken far too many blows to the head, comedian Jeff Altman. I'm real good. Nice to have you here. You look oh, terrific. Oh, boy, I'm so good. What's the matter? Do you see a little fly or a parakeet no. in my nose right now? <laughs> there's nothing. <laughs> Sit down. There's nothing. There's a bat. There's a big bat no, in my there's, nose. There's not a nose. Just oh. sit down. There's nothing, nothing in your nose. Sure. Small pair of pliers. There's correct. the pliers. No, in there's enough. no pliers. Yeah. How are you? You look good. You look like you just had a meal. Just had a big meal, Dave. What do you was, have? It was a, you, when you go out, what do you have? Oh, a butt steak. I'll have a 20-pound butt steak. <laughs> just a, you know, not no garnish, no fries, uh -huh. just a 22-pound butt steak. <laughs> yeah. And, uh... Yep, a butt steak. <laughs> this, this is the... End of the cow! Yeah, I see. You know, you're, not talking, you're not talking about a flank steak that a guy would roll up or anything, are you? Flank? Yeah, yeah. What it would it be like? It's a, a butt steak! Okay. A big, big <laughs> butt steak! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how do you like that uh, cook, then? Well, uh, you know, a lot of the kids, I go over to the kids' house, they'll offer me, you know, nachos and that crap, but I don't eat that. <laughs> Just want a 22 pound buck steak! <laughs> Do you see a hamburger on no, the in my there's nose? There's nothing right in now? your nose, please. Just okay. have a seat. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. So you had a pretty good meal. Oh, great, great, yeah, great. Yeah. Delicious. Yeah. But can we get serious for a second? Whatever you want. Okay. I had something very, very strange happen. I heard about this, yeah. and I don't believe this is true. Well, it is. Uh, if I could just take a second to tell you about it. Uh, I'm sure folks uh, here, here have had somebody come to their door you didn't want, somebody menacing, horrible. A solicitor or something? This was the worst thing that ever happened to me in my life. I, I'm getting ready to take a shower. i got a towel around my waist. Knock on the door. I open the door. Just I live out in San Fernando Valley. I crack yeah. the door like this. I'm looking at a guy dressed up completely like Santa Claus. What time of year was this? This was two days ago. Oh. So I said, what do you want? He goes, oh, I have, I have a, a promotional copy of my album. Here's, here's my album. I said, I don't want you. He pulls it out of a sack. Mm -hmm. I said, I don't want you. He says, oh, yeah, it's, it's me and my monkey. <laughs> the guy's dressed up like, so I think I'm, I don't want it. I start closing the door. And as I do, he puts the album over his head and like automatically his fly unzips and a small <laughs> gibbon crawls out. Small monkey. A gibbon. A gibbon. A, a baby gibbon. It's not like a butt steak, is it? Not a butt steak. <laughs> <laughs> not like a butt steak. Could, is there a part on a gibbon that could be identified as a butt steak? Well, you can have a gibbon steak. Yeah. But... <laughs> Craw crawls out, literally crawls out, and I, I'm, I'm terrified. I feel the guy. And the I guy's said, monkey like, climbs right out of his pants. Climbs. And I said, sir. <laughs> this, this is true. I swear to God, this is true. I swear to God, this is true. <laughs> I, I said, get him out of my house now. He's in your, the monkey's no, in your house. No, the man in the Santa Claus is standing there, and he, he looks in my face and goes just like this. Meow. Meow. <laughs> I feel I've got a certifiable nut Now, this here. didn't really happen. I swear to God. I, I said, come on in the house. Get the monkey out. The monkey's running around urinating on furniture. It's, it's hard. OK. All right. He comes and he gets the guy, the monkey, the monkey, the Santa Claus. And I said, sir, if you don't get out now, I'm going to call the police. I pick up the phone like this. He, he runs into my living room and I tackled him. His head hit the wall. He was out like a cold. Yeah. I took off the beard. Uh -huh. It was Merv Griffin. <laughs> no. I, I I'm not. I have no, proof. That's I have not true. I have absolute proof. Hal. That's not you, true. I have proof. Hal, can you show this thing? Merv Griffin. Oh, this is Merv Griffin. <laughs> You know, I like to get ready for the holidays extra early each year, like a, around July. And this year's really something special because I'm releasing a new Christmas album with my new singing partner. Ooh. Anyway, a few days ago, I was out in San Fernando Valley handing out those uh, promotional copies of my album. And I approached this house. I rang the bell. And just as I was about to hand the album to somebody, somebody punched me out, decked me. Well, I was out cold. When I came to, there was Jeff Altman. That is pretty strange, isn't it? Wait, wait, wait a minute, Merv. Just, yeah. just a second now. What about the monkey and coming into the house and running around and going nuts and stuff? Monkey? What monkey? The monkey that jumped out of your Santa suit. <laughs> oh, that monkey. Oh, I thought that belonged to you. <laughs> no, 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 no. Merv. Yeah. Yeah. And also, what, what is it? What is that noise? What is that noise? Oh, that not? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. What is it? I don't know. I have uh, had that for years, yeah. but they have that cutoff button in the control room, so the audience never heard it. 23 years. No one heard it? No one ever heard it, no. Yeah. But I have to return this hat. I promised a uh, rental, you know. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll be darned. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You and Merv there. Oh, yeah. You, you I and Merv. I couldn't believe it. He was just out. He was yeah. dreaming and saying things. And... <laughs>
Watching, watching cartoons, huh? Watching cartoons. <laughs> <laughs> so what else have you been well, doing I'm in your spare I'm time? I'm handling a fighter now. I'm handling a guy who's coming along. He's going to fight. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm handling a fighter. His name is Leonard Moon. Uh-huh. And he's going to be fighting Mike Tyson soon. Oh, and I he's have got a his hands pitch. full. Well, then. he's also tra- training to, he's uh, going to be a baseball player. He's tra- training for the to be in the Mets next year. Uh-huh. He's doing both at the same time. Yeah. Here is Leonard Moon. My name is Leonard Moon, and I don't have the brains of an ice cube. Yeah. I'm ready for Larry Holmes or even his brother, Mobile Holmes. Uh-huh. <laughs> Pretty soon, I'm writing my own book on therapy. It's called, You're Okay, I'm K.O. Uh (laughs) Leonard Moon. That's him. So what, uh, where are you going for dinner? What do you think you'll have for dinner tonight? Well, uh, I'm gonna go out and ride like a nice, (laughs) not small, I don't want a tiny one. I don't want anything like a little Wendy's or any of that crap. I want a nice big buck steak. (laughs) All right, well, uh, we gotta do, what are we doing, a commercial? We'll do a commercial, we'll be right back here with Jeff Alton. Okay, where are you going to be? Quickly, we okay, got to go okay. here. We got to uh, go. We got to uh, go. Okay, uh, George Miller and I are performing at the Comedy oh, Works in be a Denver good show. on October the 12th. Get those tickets now. Have a nice weekend, folks. One more quick. Levitown, Long done. Island. Go. Good night, everybody. Bye. Thank you. Bye.